Let's read a story to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It all started when Drew and Nikki were at Cole School, making decorations. Nothing unusual about that. Hey look, a giant rainbow. Cool. Tradition says there's a leprechaun's pot of gold at the end. Really? Well, there's only one way to find out. It's time for the stupendous stupendous and his mighty penultimate. And these lucky shamrock propeller beanies to fly us to the other side. Drew and Nikki flew up in the sky and followed the rainbow. Hey, Drew, look, the rainbow's losing color. Oh, but there's the pot of gold. <gasps> oh, no. Hey, me pot of gold turned into a pot of gray. You naughty kids did this. Us? No way. We were just going to see if there was really a pot of gold. If, of course there is. Well, not anymore. Every St. Patrick's Day, some meddling kids come and try to take my gold. It wasn't us, we promise. Then how come you're gray too? Huh? Oh no, Drew and Nikki were all gray. And now so was the leprechaun and all the trees and the flowers and the sky. It's like the color is being sucked out of everything. What's the matter, Drew? Feeling blue? Or should I say, feeling gray? <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm Grace. Grace Kale. You know, like, gray scale. I'm like taking all your color and there's nothing you can do about it. Drew thought fast. What could he do? Just use your pen to draw back the color. Oh, cool idea. I don't think so. Uh-uh, Drew. Ah. Nice try. Okay, this is getting old. I gotta hit the source. I'm going for the color sucker. Why don't you just draw a hammer and smash the color machine like a piggy bank? Why draw a hammer when I can draw a huge hammer fist? Drew swung his big hammer fist to break open the color machine, but Grace was too fast. Ha, <laughs> you're stuck, Drew. Why don't you just like give up? If you put her in slow motion, I can see how her color sucking machine works. Then we can disable it for good. Good idea, Nikki. Drew made a slow-mo ray gun in the shape of a turtle, cause turtles are slow. Seriously awesome. Um, no, all your colors belong to me. Not so fast. Slow-mo ray gun? Hmm. It looks almost like a regular vacuum. I know, we need a huge hairball. I call it the Techno Color Turbo Clocking Hairbow Dust Bunny 5000. Nice! Oh no! Grace Kale's color vacuum sucked up the Techno Color Turbo Clocking Hairbow Dust Bunny 5000 and got totally clogged! Okay, Grace, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. That's where you just open your vacuum and give us our color back. You win! Oh, sorry. I'll deactivate the slow mo. You win this time, Drew. But I'll be back. Why do you want all our color anyway? Where I live, it's all black and white, and I saw that rainbow, and like, I wanted to bring it home. You can't just take a rainbow. No, but we can give her a little rainbow magic. After all, nobody should live in a colorless world. That's true, but then you'll scram. Um, duh. Thanks, Drew. Or, you know, whatever. Please, don't try to take a leprechaun's gold. Today, we're making our very own rainbow. Booyah, I love rainbows. Rainbows in the sky, rainbow ice cream, rainbow cookies. I love them. Before we start, remember to subscribe below to stay up to date on all our experiments. And without further ado, here are my top three ways to make rainbows. For the first, you'll need one glass prism, that's like a glass box, one sheet of paper or cardboard, lots of sunshine, and goggles for protection. First, place the white paper on the ground under the sunlight. Next, put the glass prism on or above the paper. And as the sun hits the prism, voila! Whoa, rainbow! You should see a rainbow start to appear on the paper. Move the prism around a bit if you guys don't see the rainbow appear right away. So the prism is basically making the sunlight separate into different colors? You betcha, the sunlight is really white light. And white light is made up of lots of different colors, like... Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and, um... Indigo and violet! Right! And when all those different colors hit the prism, they bend. 
And since all colors are made differently, they'll all bend in different directions. It's called refraction. That's why rainbows look the way they do. Exactly. Now in case prisms aren't your jam, you can try making a rainbow this way instead. For this version, you'll need one cup of water, one sheet of white paper or cardboard, lots of sunlight, and goggles for protection. Now you're gonna follow the same steps as last time. Except the sunlight will pass through the water instead of the prism. There it is again. Look at all those colors. Comment below to let us know which color is your favorite. Quick tip, on a cloudy day, you can still make your rainbow using a flashlight instead of sunlight. Just to make sure it only lets out white light. Yellow light will break up into our rainbow colors. You got that right. And last but not least, you can make your rainbow using method number three. One cup of water, one small mirror, sunlight, and goggles for protection. First up, fill the glass with water and place the mirror inside the water at an angle. Move the glass around so that the sunlight shines directly at the mirror and reflects right off the wall. Whoa, there it is! It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his Mighty Pen Ultimate! Get ready because today's adventure is a masterpiece! It was another beautiful day at Cool School and all the kids were getting ready for their annual trip to the Cool County Art Museum. Is everybody ready for the trip to the Art Museum? I am! Every year I check and the Mona Lisa still isn't smiling. Sometimes I just want to take out my magic pen and get her to smile all the way. I kind of like her the way she is. Personally, I'd like to get that American farmer to smile. I like the apple in Magritte's painting. Not sure why it covers his face, but it does make me hungry. Ooh, that reminds me. I better check and make sure I have my lunch. Woo, got it, all set. The kids were off to the museum and a great day of seeing the world's most famous art. But something was wrong. Help! Someone has done the most horrible thing. Help! Where'd they go? I'll catch those thieves. Oh no, what happened? All of the color is gone. It's all gone? Gone. See for yourselves. It's terrible. Just then a police car pulled up and out popped a bunch of famous artists. Our great work. My masterpieces. Whoa, that looked like Michelangelo. That didn't look anything like Michelangelo. He wasn't a turtle. No, Robbie, the real Michelangelo. Wait, there's a real Michelangelo? Oh, brother. Come on, we gotta go see what happened. Wow, Picasso's always have so much color. How could this be? I am lost without color. Who could do such a thing? I can think of one person who would steal color. You can? Please, dear boy, if you can save our art, it would mean the world to me. I sure can try. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Okay, that was pretty cool. Never saw that before. Okay, guys, let me see if I can find our bad guy, or bad girl in this case. Girl, you think it was a lovely young woman did this? Trust me, Grayscale isn't lovely. Oh, her name gives me goosebumps. Find her. We're on it. Drew, I'm here to help. Me too. That apple is supposed to be green. Nobody wants to eat a gray apple. Hmm. I wonder if Grace left the museum. Maybe it wasn't Grace Kale who did it. It had to be. This is so her. Psst. She went that way? Thanks, King David. Okay. Was I the only one who found that spooky? A little bit. But he was kind of cool. I mean, I love slingshots. Oh no, he's missing an ear. I wonder if Ray Blank is here too. Oh no, that was me. Long story. Okay, now I'm totally spooked. With my magic pen, I can put your ear back if you'd like. Really? Could you? I would really appreciate that. Sure. Oh, awesome. Wow, wow. Now, if you'll excuse me. There she is. You'll never catch me, Drew, so quit before this gets ugly. I knew it was you, Grace. You stole all the color from the art. So what if I did? I wanted the color, so I took it. That's stealing, and we caught you red-handed, which is one of my favorite colors, by the way. Get out of my way, you losers. You're the loser, Grace. You're the one who took what wasn't yours. Artistic license. I like needed the color for my art class. I'm super sick of my teacher telling me my paintings are too boring without color. So you stole the color from the greatest artworks of all time? Well, like if you need color, who else would you steal from? Hey, 
We wouldn't steal. Uh-oh, kids. If Grace gets free, the great paintings will lose their color forever. But Drew had an idea. You're not going anywhere, Grayscale. Ah, uh, Drew. My color vacuum. Give up, Grace. Like, never. Okay. Bring this to Picasso and the other artists. Hopefully there's enough color left for them to save their great paintings. Art rescue on the way. Give that back. Like, uh-oh. Ah! Bye, Grace. Remember, you have to make your own colors in this world. That looks perfect. You are a masterpiece, Drew. You saved the day and our art. Psst. Hey, Drew. Nice slingshot. Very impressive. Gee, thanks. Coming from you, that means a lot. In this room, we have a new anonymous collection of some of the most beautiful modern art I've ever seen. Note the extraordinary use of color. Moral of the story, boys and girls, everyone has their own unique colors to bring into the world. Hi, kids. Are you ready for story time? I'm so excited to be reading one of my favorite stories. I hope it's not Hansel and Gretel. That one kind of weirds me out. Oh, I hope it has a great adventure. I'm in the mood for an adventure. Well, then you're in luck, because today we're reading The Wizard of Oz. So here we go. Dorothy was walking in the woods along a dirt path to go see the wizard. Dirt path? What happened to the yellow brick road? Dorothy walked along until she bumped into a bear who was looking for something. Hello there, Mr. Bear. What's your name? Brian. Hi, Brian. What you looking for? My breakfast. It's almost noon and I haven't had my porridge. I'm not the same without a good breakfast. I really need some porridge. Well, I'm off to see the wizard. Maybe he has some porridge. Um, okay. What are you going to the wizard for? I got lost in the woods and I want to go back to my Aunt Frances. Wait a sec. Dorothy's supposed to want to go back to Kansas, not to her Aunt Frances. And she meets a lion who needs courage, not a bear who wants porridge. It does seem a little unusual. Well, let's see what happens next. Dorothy and the bear walked down the dirt road when they met a plumber. A plumber in the Wizard of Oz? Hello, what's your name? I'm Mario. I'm a plumber, and I can't find my drain. Your drain? You're missing your drain? Yup, no good. A plumber without a drain is not a happy plumber. Who are you? Well, I'm Brian, and I need to find some porridge. Well, we're going to see the wizard. You can come if you'd like. Maybe he can help you find a drain. Okay, worth a shot. But we should try to avoid any puddles, you know what I mean? Because I don't, don't have, have a, a drain. drain. So Dorothy, the plumber, and the bear all walked along the brown dirt road to go see the wizard. Suddenly, they came upon a chef. OMG, a chef in the middle of the woods? We, oui, I am Leanne, and I need a tart. Wow, did you hear that, guys? Leanne needs a tart. Sorry that about that. Rough. Well, we're going to see the wizard. Maybe he can help Leanne find the tart. Let's, Let's go. go. This is crazy. We gotta fix the story. What happened to the Tin Man who needs a heart and the Scarecrow who needs a brain? Right, there's no Leanne looking for a tart or a plumber who needs a drain. There is definitely something wrong. That's it, I'm going in. I have to fix this story. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Hi guys. Oh, hello, who are you? I'm the stupendous Drupendous and I'm here to get this story straight. You're not the right people for the story. We're not? You know, come to think of it, I don't know what I'm doing in these woods looking for a drain. Or some porridge. Don't forget my tarts. You don't need a wizard for those things. Wizards are for brains, courage, and getting a heart. Magic. Gee, thanks. Here you go. Hop on these scooters and head that way. Au revoir. Goodbye. What about me? We need to get you back to Kansas. What about my Aunt Frances? Sorry, no Aunt Frances, but you get a new set of buddies. Here you go. The lion needs courage. The scarecrow needs a brain. And the tent man needs a heart. I was worried that with a new story, I would never get courage because Brian was getting porridge instead. That's how I felt about Leanne getting a tart. 
<laughs> exactly! Imagine if Mario had gotten a drain instead of me getting a brain! Oh, I can't imagine it! But that's mostly because I don't have a brain! Okay, guys, follow the yellow brick road to the wizard and get yourselves what you need. Um, there's no yellow brick road. Oh, right! Gotta fix that, too! You know, I do remember there being a yellow brick road near my farm, and it somehow disappeared. Like it was erased? Yes! Well, that can only be one person. Hop in! I'm a little scared. Don't be scared. You're gonna help me fix the story. Okay, now I'm definitely scared. <laughs> yep, just as I thought. Ray Blank. Okay, well then let's go home. Go home? We gotta catch Ray. I was afraid you'd say that. So, you see, Mr. Wizard, I really need a magic pen that can draw anything. So that's your plan, eh, Ray? You want a pen like mine? Get lost, Poopendus. Can't you see I'm talking to the wizard? We don't want to be rude. Perhaps we should come back another time. Who's your friend, Pooh? You brought your own scaredy cat? <laughs> hey, watch it, bub. Yeah, what you gonna do? Nothing. I was just concerned that everyone be safe. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere until Ray leaves, too. You can be very stubborn. Alas, the famous Drupendus. You've heard of me? Of course. And I would really like to see that pen. I've heard a lot about it. You have? Cool. Um, do you promise not to make one for Ray? Absolutely. I would never make him one. You wouldn't? Why not? Because I make people things they need to make them better people. Never for bad or evil things, and certainly never to hurt anyone. Well, then I'll just erase you! Don't touch the wizard! Don't make me laugh, kitten! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay! Don't get angry! I'm leaving! Jeez, I just wanted a pen! Now, Drew, can I see your pen? Sure! Wow, that's a beauty! Don't think I can make one like this! Really? How come? Because it needs your imagination to make it work. Now, Mr. Lion, what can I do for you? I could use some courage. You seemed pretty courageous a minute ago. Yeah, that was awesome. I was kind of courageous, wasn't I? Could it be? I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared. Gee, thanks, Mr. Wizard. I'm sorry, my friend, but you did that all on your own. With a little help from my pal, Drew. You should see the motorcycle he made me ride in. Speaking of which, we gotta go. Everyone is waiting for us. Thanks, Mr. Wizard. Bye, Mr. Wizard. Bye. Keep imagining and drawing good things. Hi, guys. Hi, Drew. We started to get worried when we didn't see the yellow brick road come back. Oh, right. We forgot about that. Maybe you can paint one with your amazing pen. Actually, it's for drawing, not painting. But I know someone who can paint it for us. Okay, but make sure it doesn't go through the scary parts of the woods so Lion doesn't get scared. Good news on that front, guys. I'm not scared anymore. You're not? That's great. Guess what? Scarecrow, you figured out what happened to the road. Your brain works just fine. And Tin Man, you were worried about your friend the lion. So you have a heart of gold. You guys don't need a wizard. You just need to believe in yourselves. That's so great. But what about me? Lion, if you don't mind, how about letting Dorothy hop on for a ride? Done. Don't forget Toto. Next stop, Kansas. And that's how Drew saves story time. Moral of the story, boys and girls, you don't need a wizard to have courage, brains, or a heart. Hi, everybody. Let's watch all the times that Cruel School had to face off with the best superhero, the stupendous Drupendous. <laughs> hey there, kids. It's time for our brand spanking new adventure with Drupendous and his mighty penultimate. In today's episode, Drew saves Cruel School from himself. Wait, that can't be right. It was a totally normal day at cool school. Nikki was just about to give her report on Valentine's Day, but... Hey, someone erased my wiki. I saw Drew do it. <gasps> Say what? Kids, Drew would never do anything like that. I didn't do it. Yeah, huh? I saw you. Except you were wearing a funny looking costume. This sounds fishy, kids. Time for recess. This would give Drew a chance to find the imposter who erased Nikki's wiki. But when he got to the playground, Drew found the swing sets, the slides, and the jungle gym were all gone! 
It's like they had been erased. Drew went back inside. There was Crafty Carol, and she did not look happy. Oh, there you are. Who, me? Drew, did you erase all of my crafting supplies? No way, I promise. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't think so, but someone said they saw you do it. <laughs> hey, stop it right there, you faker. All of a sudden, kids came pouring out of the cafeteria. Yuck. Ew. Gross. The mysterious villain had erased the lunch menu and all the labels on the food. The lunch lady accidentally served up sloppy joes with grape jelly, onion slices, and cauliflower tacos with liver. Gross. But it's supposed to be pizza day. There he is. That's who done it. No way. I would never mess with pizza day. Then it dawned on Drew. Someone who looked like him was running around erasing everything. The opposite of drawing. It was like he had... An evil twin. My name is Ray, as an eraser. <laughs> You're the one who's been erasing stuff. Yeah, and now I'm gonna erase you. I don't think so, pal. <laughs> hey! What about this? Let's get ready to run. Give it up, Drew. There's nothing you can draw that I can't erase. Oh no, kids. Has Drew Pendus met his match? A bad guy he can't beat. No way. He can't beat me if he can't catch me. Drew used his super speed shoes to run down the hall and into the library. Miss Booksy, help. I need a book on how to send my evil twin back to his evil planet. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, here's one. <laughs> how to send your evil twin back to his evil planet. Perfect. Boogers. He erased all the pages. Aha! Enjoying your book. Oh, what do you want from me? I want chaos, craziness, destruction! <laughs> well, that's a silly answer. Yeah, what do you really want? I, I just want to be a student in cool school. Well, that makes sense. It is the best school in the universe. That's true. Where I came from, we only had cruel school. And it's not cool at all. Ray told them about cruel school, where everything was the opposite. Instead of good teachers, they had bad ones, like Krabby Carol. Stay away from my glitter. And Captain Hooksy, the cruel school librarian. She used to be a pirate, and now all the books are ripped to shreds. Arg! <laughs> I want us to stay here with you guys. I'll be good, I promise. They actually considered it. After all, cruel school did sound terrible. But Drew saw that Ray had his fingers crossed behind his back. That's the universal sign that someone is fibbing. Don't worry, I saw that and I have a plan. Drew made a door to cruel school. Oh no, I dropped my penultimate and I rolled out the door. It's my pen now! <laughs> Kids, Ray has the mighty penultimate! Now I can draw whatever I want and take over the world! Hey, wait a second, this pen doesn't work. What's the matter, Ray? I'm drawing a blank. Have a nice day at cruel school, Ray. Yay! Whoa, how'd you do it? Simple. I could tell he really wanted my pen ultimate, so I drew a fake one that didn't have any ink. Ray won't be coming back to cool school anytime soon. Well, we sure hope not. Anyway, the moral of the story, kids, don't go around erasing people's homework and never mess with Drew's pen ultimate. Hey, boys and girls, it's time for a brand new adventure of Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. Today, Drew must save. Well, just wait and see. It's a surprise. It all began as a normal day. Drew got up for school, brushed his teeth, ate his breakfast, and fed the dog. Like I said, totally normal, except... April Fools. It was April Fool's Day and Drew was dressed as his evil twin, Ray Blank. Kids, you remember Ray? He's Drew's opposite. Ray goes around erasing everything and causing total mayhem. I'll make everyone think I'm the mean and rotten Ray Blank. Best April Fool's ever. When Drew got to school, he ran straight to the library and said, It's me, Drew Pendus' evil twin, and I'm here to erase all your books. <laughs> oh no, you won't. Go back to your evil universe where you belong. Oh no! 
That's the magic door that opens to cruel school. That's the opposite of cool school, where all the teachers are really mean. That door is how Drew got rid of Ray Blank last time. Drew doesn't want to go there. Wait, stop! <sighs> that was close. Miss Booksy, no! It's really me, Drew! But it was no use, kids. Sound just doesn't travel through magic doors between opposite worlds. That's just basic science. Now Drew is trapped at Cruel School. It's just like Cool School, except it's all opposite and terrible and awful and yucky and no good. Get ready for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today, Drew must escape Cruel School. Actually, it's simple. I'll just draw a door going back to Cool School. No, you won't. You're stuck at cruel school, like the rest of us. <laughs> My mighty penultimate, give it back. Make me. Boys, get to class now. I don't even go to the school. Quit your yapping. It's time for arts and crafts with me, Krabby Carol. Your assignment, make glitter. Lots of glitter. <laughs> Krabby Carol already had a stash of glitter so big that she could never use all of it. Finally, the bell rang. It was lunchtime. Today's lunch, toasted marshmallows. Awesome. Very toasted, like Bert. I wrapped in beef liver. Ew, grody. And everybody's favorite, ice cold cheese punch. Make sure you drink every drop. This place is the worst. Oh yeah, to go with the beef liver and marshmallows, we also have bratwurst. Thanks for reminding me. Ugh. Well, the good news was after lunch comes recess. What could they possibly do at Cruel School to ruin recess? Oh no! They even ruined recess? Okay, Cruel School, you already ruined lunch, but you do not mess with recess. That's sacred. Drew couldn't take it anymore. He ran into the library and oh no! Captain Hooksy was there, shredding books! Yarg! Get yourself some scissors and let's cut up these books. No way! Drew couldn't do it. He knew how disappointed Miss Booksy would be if he ever damaged a library book. Then he saw Nikki. Awesome! Nikki! Boy, I'm glad to see you. What? My name is Tricky. I tell kids facts that aren't true and trick them. Oh no! I have to get out of here! Hey, you look like my friend Ray. Drew ran out into the hallway right smack into a big metal wall. Wait, that's not a wall. Looking for this? Well, it's mine now. So get lost! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I wish Nikki really was here so she could help me come up with a smart plan. Wait, I know! I'll ask Tricky and then do the opposite, whatever she says. Oh, hey Tricky, I want to ask you something. If you had to defeat an evil giant robot, what would you do? Obviously, I would invite him to a tea party and then we'd play dress up and have a karaoke party. What? That's a crazy answer, but it does give me an idea. Huh? <laughs> Dear Ray, you are invited to a really awesome party. Now, at the library, bring your new cool pen, your friend Tricky. Awesome! I love parties. Drew hid out near the library, waiting for his evil twin. I thought I told you to get lost. Thanks for the marbles, Ray. Wanna play? Whoa! And thank you for my penultimate. Ooh, and this handy eraser. Drew made a door back to Cool School and jumped through. Hmm. Happy April Fool's Day, Cool School. See ya, hopefully never. This time, Drew erased the door just to be safe. Drew, where have you been? April Fool's? Well, kids, it was a happy ending after all. Drew made it back to Cool School just in time for lunch. And it was pizza day with tater tots and a brownie for dessert and a fruit punch. And now Drew had Ray Blank's evil eraser. So that should be the end of Ray. Or is it? Moral of the story, boys and girls, watch out when you're playing a prank. You just might end up at Cruel School. And whenever you're in a jam, always use your marbles to figure a way out. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today, Drew has to save a unicorn. Whoa, cool. It was school pride week at Cool School, and this year the most exciting thing ever was happening. Cool School is getting a unicorn. Cool School is getting a unicorn? <laughs> That's right. She's our new mascot. Awesome. Is she here now? Yeah, I can't wait. 
I love unicorns. This is so cool. What are we waiting for? Let's go see our new pet unicorn. <laughs> oh no, she's gone. <laughs> Ray Blink. Not that baddie. He's nothing but trouble. Thanks, Crafty Carol. I try. <laughs> Should have known. Time to go to Cruel School and get our unicorn back. So Drew made a portal to Cruel School. You remember Cruel School, right, kids? That's where everything's the opposite of Cool School. The teachers are mean and the kids are nasty and no one has any fun. Ugh, Cruel School is the worst. Hey, if they want a mascot, why not get them something better for Cruel School, like a Hydra? Hydra? What the heck is that? The Hydra is a multi-headed snake with breath so stinky it can knock you down with one sigh. Ew, gross! Hmm. Aw, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Your breath just kinda caught me by surprise. Here. That should help. Thank you. If you want to find a unicorn, you gotta think like a unicorn. Technically, the wings make you an alicorn. Yeah, okay, whatever. Just saying. Anyway, we'll go make sure everyone's still having fun at the Cool School Pep Rally. Good luck! Now if I were a unicorn, where would I be? Looking for something? Pooh appendix? Hey, is that my name, Ray? Do you see our new school mascot? No, that's not your mascot. That's Cool School's unicorn. Unicorn? What? This is just a, a totally uh, regular horse. You erased your horn. What horn? You don't really believe in unicorns, do you? Anyway, I locked her up and then erased the key. Silly me. Well, good thing that my unicorn horn shoots lasers. <laughs> huh? It's a special metal from outer space. Unbreakable. By the way, I think your wings technically make you a pegacorn. Really? I thought it was alicorn. Here, I'll help. <laughs> Thinking, hot dog. One, two, three. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> Rainbow Blaster to the rescue! How did you do that? Unicorn magic, obviously, but you gotta believe. Do it again! Sorry, but we have a cool school pep rally to get to. Smell you later. I regret to inform you children that our cool school unicorn is gone. You saved her! Great job, Drew! Awesome! Drew Pendus totally saved the day, and more importantly, he saved the unicorn. Moral of the story, kids, never steal unicorns, and be very careful with unicorn rainbow magic. It's pretty strong stuff. You just gotta believe. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate! Today's episode is gonna be a ball because it's time for a basketball battle. And be on the lookout for Cool School's unicorn. He's hidden in the episode. Tell us in the comments below how many times you found the Cool School unicorn. It's Cool School against Cruel School in the final game of the championships. History will be made, folks. Let's shoot some hoops. Go Cruel School. Cruel School dominates. Yeah! Cool School rules. Cool School rules. Go, Cool School, go! Cool School rules, Cool School drools. That's Dean Mean, the meanest, evil, scariest person ever. He's the principal of Cruel School, and he's also their coach, because rumor has it, he ate the last one. Okay, guys, remember, teamwork. We work together, we beat Team Evil, let's play some ball. Now get out there and clobber them. I don't care what you do, just win this thing. You guys got it. Can we cheat? Is that some kind of joke? We're the bad guys. Of course we cheat. Now scram. And we are ready to go. It's Ray Blank versus Drew Pendis in the opening tip-off. Hope you can draw enough tissue for the whole team, Drew Fist. Boo-hoo-hoo. Only to wipe up tears of joy for beating the bad guys. The ball is in the air and Cool School <laughs> takes control. He shoots, he scores! Cool School's on the board. Come on, I don't trade losers. Let's go! And the streak is alive. Cool School's on fire. Come on, guys, get it together. Pass to me, pass to me. I got a clear shot. Right. 
over here. I'm open. <laughs> what was that? I said I was open. Don't tell me what to do. You kids better start scoring. Win. By when do you mean cheat? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Of course I mean cheat. All right, bring on the evil. This is going to be, like, super fun. And we're back on the clock. Robbie is moving down the sidelines. Looks like Cool School's got another clear shot. He shoots. He whoa, gets pelted by rain. Thanks. You shouldn't have. <laughs> and Cool School's on the board. Oh, no, no. Not on our turf. That's OK. We still got this. Cool School's number one. Uh-uh. I see what's going on here. You're not getting away with this, Rain of Gloom. <laughs> Better luck next time. Hey, Drew, heads up. And Nikki makes a long pass to Drew. The ball is in the air, and it <laughs> freezes. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, look, up there. <laughs> Stop that evil ray, or I'm coming up there to catch you. Not if you can't find him. Where'd you go? You know, you guys, you can't just use your villain powers to beat us. It's against the rules. Uh, what rules? You won't get away with this. Bad guys, you're going down. OK, it's all the bad guys against all the good guys. No big deal. We got this. Uh, OK, all the bad guys against one good guy? Bigger deal. Hey, Drew, over here. Now, now, why does she get all the attention? Don't be so cold-hearted, Drew. Nothing a giant flame cannon can't handle. Well, now you asked for it. Oh, that's it. I'm out villain. There's no way I can fight off all these guys by myself. Unless... Oh, boy. Drew is onto something, kids. With no time to spare, he whipped out his penultimate and sketched a super-duper awesome clone machine. Time to call in the Dream Team. Uh, I mean the Drew Team. <laughs> hey, I look pretty good. Okay, guys. You know the drill. Yep. Got it. Ready to roll. Good guys versus bad guys. You got it, Drew. You got it, Drew. You got it, Drew. Okay, that's getting annoying. Sorry, Drew. Didn't, Didn't mean it. it. My, My bad. bad. Okay, guys, let's get a move on. The championship game is on the line. Drew was off, and so was Drew, and Drew, and Drew. Hey, Rena, over here. Stop that, you. Some new igloo. It's got an ice cream machine. I do love igloos and ice cream. Maybe just one peek. Hey, let me out of here. Not funny. Let me out. Villains aren't that bright. Hey, Grace, bet you can't suction this up. Oh, colors and cake? I'll take that. Grace used her color vacuum to suction up Drew's rainbow colored cake, but that wasn't your average cake. You totally exploded my color vacuum. So, not cool. Nothing like exploding firecracker candles to bring down a bad guy. Hey! Hey, Ray, you game for some basketball practice? Hey, stop! That, ouch! That, that hurts! Stop right now! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And the victory goes to Cool School! Woohoo! Go Cool School! Cool School! Cool School! Cool School! Cool school. Cool school. Thanks, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. No, no problem. problem. Bye, guys. Man, I have good hair. All right. I hope you kids had your fun. Because Cruel School's about to get real cruel. Back on the bus. I knew this was a bad idea. Last time I listened to you, Ray. <laughs> like, I do not look good in detention. Moral of the story, kids. Don't play basketball against bad guys. They're bad. But if you do find yourself in the villain NBA, be sure to bring along your own clone army. It always comes in handy. Hold on. Did you remember to count all the unicorns? Well, you can watch again and see how many unicorns you can find. Or you can stick around and see how many were actually in the episode. Found number one. 
There's number two. Found number three. There's number four. And finally, number five. Did you find all five? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for playing. Guys, I can hardly see anything. Ow! Nikki, that's my foot. Watch out! There's a hill! Ah! Huh? Look out! Settle down, villains. You all performed quite well on your how to scare somebody and get them to give you their lunch test. Please collect your squishy, hairy spider toys after class. However, I'm sure I need not remind you of our recent basketball failure. Do we need a refresher on what we do in class? Easy schmeasy. We learn how to be the best evil villains ever. Yeah, bad guys, that's us. And we learn how to take down cool school with their super evil badness. Exactly. And we can never let those goody good kids at the cool school win ever. No, no sir. sir. So listen here. We may have lost last time, but we're going to come back stronger and meaner than ever. Now, who can tell me how to pull off the ultimate payback on cool school? Ooh, ooh, we can fill all their ice cream machines with strawberry instead of chocolate. Oh man, that'll be so mean. Maybe then I can shower them with rainbow sprinkles. Ooh, yeah, that sounds pretty yummy. It's not supposed to be yummy. Oh, right. You're the worst bad guy ever. OMG, I have an idea. We could like zap all of the color out of the sky. Then those cool schoolers will think it's still nighttime and like totally miss the famous cool school spring picnic. Oh, ho, ho. I could erase all the stars so it's extra, extra dark out. Those kids will sleep through the entire week. <laughs> now we're starting to think like real bad guys. Drew Pendus lives over here. That means we must start our operation way over here to give us time to spread our evilness in case he tries to strike back. We'll have to be up early to get there before sunrise. Ray, that means there'll be a lot of stars in the sky. You'll have to work fast to erase them all. I'm on it. You can ask Professor Witchman if you can borrow her broomstick. <laughs> And take Timmy along. He could use some training. Timmy? Double ug. Fun. Let's go. Well, kids, the bad guys are ready for Operation Ultimate Payback. Oh, hello. Welcome back to Cruel School's Bad Guy class, where we learn how to be real baddies. We were just about to see our villains perform the most evil payback prank ever. So, how are we going to, like, get into cool school? Maybe we can knock on the front door. I bet they'll let us in if we ask nicely. Ugh, lame. I'm one step ahead of you, Professor Witchman. Can I borrow your broom? Well, all right. But I'll be expecting you to walk fluffy every day for a week. I love that little guy. Deal. I'm warning you, kid. It ain't as easy as it looks. Please, I got this. Oh, oh, this is not that easy. Oh, got it. What now, guys? What now? Now we like get to work. <laughs> this is like totally working. Only a matter of time before we pull off the evilest payback operation ever. We. Uh, I'm here for moral support. Morning time! I think. Hmm, still looks like nighttime out there. Hey, Drew! It's not morning time yet, but I'm up and I'm super bored. What's up? That's weird. I'm up too! And I never wake up before morning time. Hola, amigos! Glad you guys are up too! Something smells fishy, guys. We better check this out. Meet me at my place. And be careful, it's dark out there. Cool. Never been on a glow-in-the-dark skateboard before. I'll be right there. 
We should totally skateboard carpool every day. Keep a lookout for anything that looks suspicious. It's so dark. Guys, I can hardly see anything. Ow! Nikki, that's my foot. Watch out! There's a hill! Ah! Huh? Look out! Ugh, Drew. Grace? Ella. Sorry, I thought everyone was just saying their names. What are you guys doing here? We're like not done with our payback operation yet. We? Quit now, Drewfest. No chance you're like totally stopping all three of us. Hmm, how do you guys like skateboarding? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> uh, whoa. Don't look so confident now, do ya? Uh-huh. Hey, that's mine. Give it here. Who are you anyway? I'm Timid Timmy, and I'm an extra evil villain. You don't sound very evil. Shh, don't tell them that. Anyway, I've got your pen, and I'm not afraid to use it. Come on, guys, hop in. In that? Are you, like, serious right now? You got any better ideas? Ugh, totally crimping my style. Oh no, I dropped the pen. We'll be back and more evil than ever. So we, we totally did it. Just in time for the cool school spring picnic. Those villains never learn. Let me get this straight. They knock you down with a skateboard. You get defeated by rainbow colors and you choose to run away in a clown car and give Drew Pendis his pen back? Doesn't sound so good when you say it out loud, huh? Detention! All of you! Those villains better start doing their homework. And you better be sure to come back and check out more episodes of Bad Guy Class. Oh, mama. If only you knew that your little boy became the dean of cruel school. Maybe then you would be proud of me. Mama, mama, look at this evil picture I drew. Not now. I must figure out a way to ruin this playground. Aww. And that, kids, is why I will ruin Mother's Day, if it's the last thing I do. Hello, villains. Welcome back to Bad Guys class, where we learn to be the baddest bad guys ever. Today, we're learning how to ruin Mother's Day. Ooh, ooh, we could bake Mother's Day cakes and add extra sprinkles. And when they bite it, the cake will be really crunchy. That's a great idea, Timmy. If we wanted to make Mother's Day even better. Hmm, well, there's nothing more evil than no Mother's Day. What if we erased Mother's Day right off the calendar? No balloons, no flowers, no cakes, no breakfast in bed. No Mother's Day. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Mother's Day. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> so long, Mother's Day. <laughs> Morning time. Can't believe today is. Hmm, I could have sworn I was supposed to do something today. True, bus is almost here. On my way, Mom. I wonder what's for breakfast today. Moms across the nation are in protest. They're quitting being moms. Yeah, my kids haven't thanked me all year for the work I do. You think they even notice? It's about time they figure out how to do some stuff on their own. It's a mom revolution. What does this mean for kids and families everywhere? Crazy stuff, huh, Mom? So, uh, what for breakfast? Whatever you can find in the cupboards, Drewy. Bon appetit. No waffles or chocolate chip pancakes? Didn't you hear the news? I am off duty. Now hurry along. Uh, bye, Mom. Bye, son. I'll be home late from work, so make your own dinner. Hey, guys. Why so down, Drew? It's my mom. She's acting different. I think she may be mad at me. Yours too? I just thought it was because I didn't clean my room. I thought it was because I've been doing homework at the dinner table. You get in trouble for that? Something doesn't feel right, guys. Oh, I know. What if we throw our moms a party? Those always make me happy. You mean like a birthday, but like a day for moms. I'm pretty sure that's what Mother's Day is for. That's it, Mother's Day. That should be right around now. 
but it's gone. It's as though Mother's Day was just erased. There can only be one villain behind erasing Mother's Day, Ray Blank. Attention moms and dads and kids. Mother's Day is back on. Surprise! Aw, you don't know how much this means to us, kids. We thought you didn't appreciate us. Of course we do, Mom. You taught me how to be a homework superstar and a whole bunch of other stuff. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Not so fast. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Mother's Day. <laughs> Not so fast. Hey, wait! Ah, put me down! Only if you promise to stop ruining Mother's Day. What do you like about Mother's Day anyway? It's the one day a year we get to celebrate moms, and only moms, for all the awesome stuff they do. Maybe your mom. My mom never had time for me. I'm sure she was just busy. Here, let's ask her. Mom? Hey, kiddo. What are you doing hanging upside down? I was trying to ruin Mother's Day for everyone because I was angry at you for never making time for me. Never making time? I tried, kiddo. I wish I could have spent all day with my little bad guy, but I was so busy being a supervillain. Really? Sure, I was trying to be the best role model I could. What do you say we bond over some chicken liver? Your favorite. Deal. I like you a lot, son. Now get down from there. Don't want that evilness to go to your head. You heard my mom. Let me go so I can get to my chicken liver date. Ugh, slowly. Promise you'll leave Mother's Day alone now? Yeah, yeah. But we'll be back with other villain stuff. Woohoo! Mother's Day is back on. Happy Mother's Day! It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Get ready for an unbelievable story, because today Drew's got to save his friends from a mean, bad bully. All right, my villains, the new school year is upon us, and we all know what that means. An apple for the teacher and special surprises in our lunchboxes? No, Timmy. It means pranks and evil lurking in every classroom and finding someone to bully. I like the way you think, Rotten Ralph. A kid after my own heart, not like your twin brother, Timmy. You must have had a lousy childhood. The worst. Hey guys, can I play? Sure. <laughs> See if you can catch this! Hey, please! That's mine! Give it to me! Go fetch! Got it! Haha, <laughs> that was fun! Hey, where did everybody go? That story makes me sad! Um, anyway, let's go have some fun at cool school! But why those guys? They're always so nice and happy! Exactly! How come they're so nice and happy? Let's go! Fall football tryouts, football tryouts. Sweet, I am so pumped. I can't believe we have a real football coach. Yeah, but he seems a little wobbly. Well, I for one have been getting ready by eating healthy and exercising and it's totally working. Check this out. Next. Woo, I'm up. Wish me luck, guys. Go. Go? Where? Run. Okay, in which direction? Next! But I didn't do anything. Yup, that's the problem. Can't run, no muscles. Next! What? That's no fair. Boo! Hey, coach, you can't do that. He didn't even get to try out. Wanna join him? But then get out on the field now. Man, he's mean. Can you believe that? Coach is a big bully. Poor Robbie. Pike! Over here! I'm open! <laughs> So sorry, Nikki. The ground just got super slippery out of nowhere, and I, I couldn't break. At least you broke your fall with my head. You, clumsy toes, you're out. Sorry, coach, it was my fault. I, I fell down and- My field, my rules. I said out. What's going on? <laughs> coach, this is so unfair. That's it, you're out too. What? Wow. <laughs> Tim and Timmy and Rotten Ralph? What are you guys doing here? Raina, now! Take this! 
Whoa! I have an idea! With no time to spare, Drew sketched a super awesome water slide. Raina's water would finally come in handy. Then he sketched a giant cage to lock up those bullies. Let me out of here! Not until you tell me why you guys are being such big bullies! Why? Why? Because I want people to know what it's like to be bullied just like I was. You were bullied too? By really mean people. I promised to someday get them back. And now there's a new bully in town. But there doesn't have to be any bully. Sure there does. Who's going to be mean if there's no bully? Well, that's just it. Nobody has to be mean. We don't like bullies around here. There is seriously no place for bullies at cool school. Or anywhere else. Uh, all right now. We can figure this out. Everybody just relax. Guys, stop. If we act like bullies, then we're going to be bullies, just like him. What if we show him what real friends are like? Ready and hike! Hey, I caught it! Raina, go long! This is fun! What's going on here? I came to see how my evil students are doing. And you're playing together? This is terrible! We're all friends now. Bullying isn't right, and the only way to stop it is to never act like a bully. Ah! How could you say such a thing? Easy. Bullying isn't right, and the only way to stop it is ah, to... I can't bear to hear this niceness. One day I'll get you, cool school. Friends on one. Three, two, one. Friends! friends. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. The bullies were defeated, and everybody at cool school were friends. Way to go, Drew. Moral of the story, boys and girls, don't be a bully. Bullies are so not cool. A special shout out to Everything Everything for suggesting I draw a water slide. And to everyone who wrote about stopping bullying. We are so with you. Be sure to comment what Drew should draw in his next adventure. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.